guys and welcome back to my channel is a one and only girl Fina thank you for coming today if you want to know the cost of building four bedroom duplex in Nigeria as of today then this video is for you if you're among those asking how you can convert your your kg your meter cube your meter square to the quantity of material to know the exact quantity that you need for the material then this video is for you go nowhere but we are going to discuss all that in this video but before we do that please do me a favor by subscribing if you have not subscribed some of you have been watching me for so long but still have not followed my page you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for subscribe like the video if it's helpful and also share the video for your girl thank you very much so let's dive into the video today's video is on duplex i told you guys last time that we are going to talk about the cost of duplex building duplex in nigeria and uh, i've come with four bedroom four bedroom duplex so if you want to know please stay soon and uh, we are going to know you guys as usual we are going to discuss it stage by stages just what we normally do it and in this we have uh, like five or six stages we have the substructure which is the foundation we have the ground floor to overhead level we have the first floor decking first floor to roof overhead level uh, parapet and roofing and then the finishing that is the stages we have for this uh, video and we are going to start with the foundation which is the substructure starting with the setting out of please I'm not going to talk about uh, land uh, approving of your plan and other no I'm not going to talk about that we are going straight to the building part of it okay and the first thing you, you should do after clearing your land is um, setting out of that is uh, they call it the pegging. That is it. You'll be needing like three bundles of pegs at the rate of one five, making four five, 20 pieces of two by three uh, wood at the rate of 500, making 10,000, one bag of two by three, uh, sorry, one bag of three inches nail and one bag of two inches nail. Please, you might not finish it in this stage. Don't get me wrong because some of you will be so quick to judge. I'm just saying one one bag because you are just starting work so you'll be needing nails for sure so you can just get yourself one one bag one bag of three inches one bag of two inches nail each at the rate of 15,000 so places 16 17 it depends so you'll be needing like six rows of twine rope yeah for the measurement dream pegging that is what they use then labor and supervision you have to include that then in this stage, we should be looking at anything from 80,000 to 100,000 Naira at this stage. The next one is the excavation stage. The excavation, that is the digging of the foundation. Yeah. Um, in this video, we'll be talking about uh, 82 meter cube measurement. Okay, 82 meter cube. And uh, talking about the excavation, when it comes to excavation, in some places they charge by meter cube. Some places they will just charge you, they will look at the work they want to do for you and charge you. So it depends on how your area or your contractor decide to, to do the job for you. But in this stage, I calculated uh, 800 naira per meter cube. All right? 800 naira per meter cube and he gave us 65,600 so you add your supervision money and you'll be having anything from still 80,000 to 100,000 you might get it lesser it depends on your area you don't expect those buildings for you in village to charge up to 800 naira per meter cube okay and uh, again if you are building in Maybe in Abuja, you should not expect 800 as well. Some areas, it might not be all the places anyway, but in some areas in Abuja, you should not expect 800. You should be expecting anything from 1,000 and above. And in that case, you'll be having more than what we just called here. Uh, the next thing after excavation is the concrete work. 
In this place, the concrete is uh, the foundation is 26.5 meter cube, and uh, I calculated with 43,000 naira per meter cube, which gave us 1 million 139,500 naira. This also depends on your workers, your contractor. He might not charge you per meter cube. He might decide to just charge you. He might not charge you up to 43,000 naira per meter cube. So it's just an idea I am giving you. Then you add up your labor and your supervision money. And um, here we are having 1.3 million 39,500 naira. Then the reinforcement in this stage. Column based reinforcement, column based mat reinforcement, we are having 384, 384 kg as the measurement. And uh, here we'll be needing 12 mm rod, we'll also be needing a 16 mm rod and a 8 mm rod. So this 12 mm rod, in should in case they give it, you know, I caught kg, 384 kg, and uh, we are look the 12 mm here is so if you have to look at it by by kg, as in the price per kg, we should be expecting like 490.2 per kg, all right. But you know that we normally talk about length, so I'm going to. I explain it for you how you can convert this kg to the quantity you need that is the total length of rod that you will be needing so uh, here one length of 12 mm rod is 10.2 or 10.2 to 10.4 uh, kg right one length of 12 mm rod is 10.2 to 10.4 kg so let's work with 10.2 kg per length. Length. So here we are talking about one kg being sold at 490 naira 490.2 naira. Okay. So when you multiply by the total, we said we have 384 kg here. To convert it to length, what will you do? You will just say 384 divided by 10.2. I just said that 10.2 kg is one length of 12 mm. So when you divide it by um, 384, you'll be having a total length of 37 point something. I just approximated it to 38 length of 12 mm rod. I remember from my last video, I gave you the prices of materials. 12 mm is being sold at 5,000, So it depends on your area. I'm working with 5,000 naira here. And that will give us 190,000 naira. Then for for column starter bars, we'll be needing 16 mm here, and uh, 16 mm will be needing like 455 kg. 455 uh, 16 kg of 16 mm rod. So now, how many uh, rod? Uh, how many kg makes a, a a one length of or a length of 16 mm rod in 16 mm we are having seven seventeen point five kg 17.5 to seventeen point nine or eight kg makes up one length of 16 mm rod and here we have 555 kg so just the way we did with four, uh, 12 mm rod, we'll just uh, divide this four, 455 kg by that 70.5 kg, and that will give us like um, 26 length of 16 mm rod. 16 mm rod is being sold from 8,500 to 9,000 naira, it depends on your area. Sorry for the noise. So I'm calculating with 8,580 uh, naira. When you uh, multiply 26 lengths by 8,580 naira, it will give you it will give you uh, 223,300 something like that. Then uh, another thing we'll be needing is 8 mm rod. 
8mm rod will be needed like 50 kg. We'll do the same thing, but 8mm rod is a uh, I know you it's not the same uh, measurement to it. Remember, 12 mm is 10.2, 16 mm is 17.5, 8 mm is 4.5. Okay, so you do the same thing. This 50 kg will be needing here divided by 4.5. It will give us 11, 11 lengths, 11.1 11 or so. So I just calculated 11 length of 8 mm rod at the rate of 2,230 naira, and it gave us 24,530 naira. So we also be needing binding wire at this stage, I guess, to hold the rod at the rate of 15,000 naira per, per row. Labor and supervision, whatever you and your workers agree on. Then the total reinforcement cost of reinforcement we are having 502,813 naira. Then block work. Block work we are having 170 uh, square meter. Now, how do you convert this 170 square meter to know? The exact how many blocks that you need. We are using nine inches block here. Nine blocks makes a square meter. Nine block, nine nine inches block makes up a square meter. So what do you do? You say uh, one seventy, which one seventy uh, square meter, which is what we need here, divided by nine, which makes up a square meter, and that will give us. That will get so multiplied. I said divide them, multiply by nine. Sorry, one block, nine block makes up a square meter. So, and we are needing 170 square meter. We we'll multiply 170 by nine, and that will give us 1530 blocks at this stage. At this stage, we are having 1530 blocks, hollow blocks. Okay, and um, we I talked about the prices as well in my last video. 9 inches block is being sold at the rate of 500 naira. But if you are to calculate it with uh, square meter, it's, it's 4,500. 4,500 naira per square meter. That is per 9 blocks. 4,500 per square meter, which is 9 blocks. And the total here is giving us 765,000 naira. So add up your labor and supervision money. And uh, here we are having. 965,000 naira for block work. Then capitry work. Kolu uh, slab, we are having 13.5 meters uh, square meter. We are having 13.5 square meter of 1 by 10 plants at the rate of 2,005 naira per square meter. Alright, so now how do we convert this plant as well? To know the exact length that we need, 1.35 uh, meter square makes up one length of of a ten, one by ten plants. Okay, so what we need to do is to multiply that 1.35 by this 13.5 that we need, and that will give us 18 length of uh, ten, one by ten square meter uh, plants sorry and uh, when you multiply it we are remember in my last video i said it sold at the rate of one five in some places two thousand some places one two so we are working with one five here and that will give us twenty seven thousand naira then for the slab edges from work we are we need 50 50 square meter all right you do the same thing by converting it if that is what you want and you will get, uh, we are having 27,000, 22,500. Then we need 20 pieces of 2 by 3 for brazing. And that will give us, at the rate of 400 naira, that will give us 8,000. Then add up your labor and supervision money. And um, here I added 25,000 naira. So this is giving us 82,500 naira. Then for backfilling, you know, after digging, putting the block work, and your reinforcement, the next thing is to fill it up. 
So here we I calculated 150 tons of lateral sand. This might not be so in your own case because it depends on the level of the, uh, the, the ground. And again, if you have dug uh, 